Alright guys, so the audio got messed up on this. So you can see here, um, I, I did get prompted to download it, uh, Windows 10 that is, through the little Windows icon that everybody's had on their desktops for the last couple months. Um, it said downloading, I clicked view, download progress, and it popped up the Windows update um, window. And it showed that it was downloading, it was already 98% done by the time I got to it, and it's about 1150 I think 11 or 1148 when I started this. Um, so after it got done downloading, it started a thing called preparing for installation. Um, this took a very significant amount of time. I'd say about 50, 60 minutes. Um, so I so I fast forward this pretty pretty darn quick. So you can see here after it got done, it prompted me to restart after I accepted the terms of service. Once it restarted, um, the HDMI went out, so I was no longer able to do HDMI capture. So I got my bird out, uh, we hung out for a little bit while we waited. So every, just, just so everybody knows too, when, you, when it restarts every once in a while during this update, or during this install, um, it'll go completely black. Like you'll see your BIOS screen pop up, it'll flash black, and then it stays there for a very significant amount of time. Like it might make you worry, but don't. Um, at about 32%, the HDMI came back um, during the installing features and drivers section. It, ha it had restarted right before this, and it came back and HDMI was back up. So if you are trying to do something with a secondary monitor, um, you be aware of that. So this whole process right here took another maybe 40 minutes or so. Um, it w th this was the probably the easiest part to watch just because of the fact that you can actually see the percentage going up under the install features and drivers down below. Um, the configuring settings part was pretty brutal just because you're so close to the end you you want it to be done you're like come on I just wanna I just wanna use it. Um, but, it, but it goes pretty quick. The actual upgrading Windows part didn't take too long. So the first screen you'll see is, is hey there, welcome back. Yeah, you, your last user that logged in. Um, you can just click next. There's nothing really significant here. I'm sorry about the screen being covered up there. I forgot it was there was an overlay on there. So I was just kind of exploring, seeing what all there was, reading it off. asks you to choose your Wi-Fi, click next. Um, it says get going fast. Uh, you know, it says that basically you can choose to personalize your settings. Um, so you can click on customize settings down to the left. Um, I just used express settings. It, it used all the same settings as my Windows 8.1 installation before this. So I didn't really mess with too much. Here it just talks about the different features, your photos, your music, movies and TV, Microsoft Edge, the, the applications that come pre-installed that they want to show off and talk about a little bit. After I clicked next, um, it went to finalizing settings and then it did a restart. So again we had that black screen for a little bit, um, kind of the last part of the installation. Next thing you got to do is log in. I kind of gave it a second to let my computer kind of catch up. It's not the fastest machine. I wanted to turn off my webcam capture right here to make sure that nobody can catch my keystrokes for the password. I really do enjoy this new login screen. It looks really cool. So this is just like in Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 when you turn it on for the first time. Um, I did speed this up by 10, 10 times and it did take about, I want to say maybe 10, 15 minutes. Didn't take a really, really long time, but again, just enough to make you upset because you're just like, I want to use it. Let's start. And voila, you're in Windows 10.